rapid session today. And just develop the night here. I have been trying to get into the zone of capturing this poem, but I'm I'm I feel really comfortable with doing this type of manoeuvres. In the evaluation, it does say take the poem straight away, uh, but the computer can work it. I don't feel comfortable because it leaves me a little bit airy, and I, I kind of lose tempo. Let's just push the pawn here. Don't want to get complicated. So obviously the knight's looking to come here to put pressure here. So if we keep it simple, just open this pawn up just to give space for the bishop. Keep everything as simple as possible, not nothing too airy. Shall we just go for? I'm actually going to attack the bishop. Very rare that they do capture nowadays. They kind of just drop it back so that it, if you take, then it opens up the rook. And then the queen's facing this way towards the king area. So it builds up pressure. Interesting. So we'll just take the bishop off the board, seeing as they don't want to play them apples. And castle, king safety. So the opponent's castled. Last but not least, maybe bringing the knight out, or is there anything clear to attack? I could bring that knight across here to attack. I'm actually going to bring this knight here, maybe looking to entice at some point attacking this pawn. Knight's jumped into the center. I'm going to attack their knight. This pawn's obviously looking to capture here, or is it just looking to get a little bit further advanced up the board? Does capture. Okay, let's just capture with the bishop. Keep it straightforward. Looking for another capture. Interesting. So, could go there. We don't really want to dishevel the pawns. We could take, but then he takes the bishop. If we take the bishop, the queen comes down. Or maybe the knight takes. Yeah, I think the knight is probably going to take. No? Okay. So, we'll take the knight off the board. They do have a pawn that is going to be captured. So we may as well take this pawn off the board. I don't think it will survive there for too long. Or we could keep the center locked down. I'm going to attack the head of the snake with this pawn here. The rook is facing the queen. I think this is as simple as you can get this kind of opening. They do have advanced pawns down the centre of the ball, but hopefully, fingers crossed, maybe we can get rid of them. Maybe this one's going to survive, so they'll try and babysit this one. Unless they're going to attempt to go for the lockdown, but again, the head of the snake can be um, captured or attacked. So they've moved the queen out of the way, so if we do capture, then the queen is coming here. could then look to attack the queen but it can come down and attack the pawn on the bottom could lock it down altogether and just push the pawn past which was really going to be quite annoying really isn't it 
Rooks, our rooks and their rooks. We like open files. So I'm, I'm going to have to take here because locking them all down, really, we're not going to get any play. So the pawn actually takes instead of the queen. Hmm, that's interesting. So we could take the pawn here, but then obviously the rook's going to come and challenge. So the pawn's not going to survive. But like I said, we need to have some sort of open. Or we could just push, but then it's just going to get challenged by the rook. So that's a little bit of a waste. This poor pawn is kind of isolated at the minute. So it's kind of a weak pawn. Take, rook comes and attacks. Queen does have play to come around the side. Don't really want to babysit a pawn though, do I, with the queen. And plus the queen is going to the other side of the board. He's already got his queen facing our king. Could bring the rook here looking to attack the pawn and then get the queen here attacking. Obviously it's rook comes to defend, but at least we're giving them something to think about maybe. Rook's going to be there, not protected. Get this here. I think I'm going to attack the pawn. Potential idea of coming here as well because we've got support from the queen. Okay, so the rook does come straight away. We could come here to then release the rook to come here to put a bit of pressure on this pawn and sneak the queen in here. Going to attempt to try and get that type of position. So they do capture, so I think the best thing is probably coming here, making space, although the rook's going to come. It's just that if we took that way, then this pawn is a pass pawn. So do they actually come? I think they probably will do, need to give us something to think about. Okay, so we're going to continue with this movement here towards the pawn. So if the rook does come and attack us, then at least we can come here. Pawn is down, so obviously he's preparing his king to come to this side here. So obviously they've seen the pattern. Um, if we go here and put a check on, we do win this pawn, but they can win this pawn here. Our queen would be then. Can't really come and take the pawn because their rook is on here. <coughs> So we might have to hang fire on that. Or oh, we could put the check on anyway, but not actually take the pawn. Does it improve the position? His queen, king is just going to hang here. Is there a way? What does my queen do from this point? It's got a nice diagonal, but uh, could come and sit here. Again, just looking to attack the pawn, but also trying to get across here. Getting an x-ray through onto their queen, king. Okay, put the check. Try and slide here if we can. Try and slide here. I don't think we're going to win that tempo in getting the queen there, but... It's not actually gone to the dark square, so we're not going to get that. It's not. It's almost like they can hear me. Right, so we're not going to get that pin. So is there any point in still continuing with that move? Hmm. 
We put a little steady eddy here and then get the rook across facing the uh, queen. Is that going to be happy? Just do a little steady eddy while we're thinking. Just get a little bit of support. Could easily just drop the pawn here to stop the rook from coming here. That's probably what they're going to do. Seeing as they're blocking off every little tiny thing that we're trying to do. Okay, let's just go with the steady eddy for now. Don't want to overthink anything. Can the queen squeeze to this spot now? There's no real magic, so the queen's gone protecting. Queen can come here. But then again, his rooks can come and challenge. So he's still got the diagonal, but this pawn is going to be pushing down. Then my rook is going to get trapped. Isn't it? My rook is good. Yeah, but if it does that, and if we're here, then we can take the pawn off the board. I think he's going to push this pawn anyway, because his queen's supporting. Mind you, if he does that, then the rook can take. I don't know what they're going to do, but um, I'm kind of fearful my rook might get trapped. I don't want it to get trapped, but it might. Rook's got to face off my queen at some point. So we can now attack their queen. That's at this point where they, if they do this, then we get a check on their king. So I'm going to attack the queen. We do have a passed pawn in the center, which is quite nice. But we're not owning this file, so if they start owning this file, we might get a bit of an issue. Captures. Whoa, steady up. Okay, let's capture. Is this where the trapping thing? No, because we can push here. If we tax this one, we have to swing. So lots of things happening here. My rooks are in the centre of the board and our mantra is rooks don't have any place in the centre of the board. So we kind of need to get them out of here now. So it looks like retreat is the order of the day for our rooks. And potentially getting round to support. Yeah, look, owning the file. Ah. We come back warm, and at least we're protecting the pawn. But this pawn is not protected, so again, this is like babysitting this pawn. Although you can't come and attack this pawn. So retreat is the order of the day. So let's go here. Our king does have a nice little cozy hole here. If there's a check coming down. Retreat, retreat, and fingers crossed I'm not getting this. I think this rook's getting trapped, you know. <laughs> because all it's it's not going to get out, is it? I think it's going to go here. Then it stops the rook from moving from side to side. Just coming back is just... I think it's well trapped. This is why rooks don't have any place in the centre of the board. And this is why they like open files, because these little piggly pawns can trap them. Could have brought the rook there, actually, you know. So we've just taken this pawn. Could have, would have, should have. Right, this has got to be the moment where I somehow I've got to get this rook out of here or get a defensible thing going. It's, it's not doing anything. Oh, I'm paying the price, aren't I? Put 
put this here just in case they do push down just to block off but I don't think it's working this rook is in a cage it's never getting out <laughs> oh dear I'm just trying to get to this square to go come across but this is just going to stop all that but I suppose we just take the pawn so he's, he's a blocker isn't he he's an absolute blocker he's just doing moves that are blocking everything so we'll take this because the rook was protecting now he's putting a lot of pressure on this pawn I need to get my rook out of here to a more positive square push and get the rook behind this pawn will be under threat this rook will come flying across doubling my pawns I've doubled my pawns. Um, boo, boo, boo. King's coming down. Looks like I'm in some serious trouble. Maybe push this one. Looks like my rook is coming off the board, doesn't it? Gets his king. Whoa. Oh, another king's coming down. We do have a bit of protection with the pawn. Get the king up. I thought he was going round the other way to put a two on one on the pawn somehow. Although I don't think he would have the right angle. What's happening here? Get the king in, blocking my rook again. Oh dear. Oh dear me. This is not looking healthy. So the king can't come down, but the pawn can touch. And this is why I need to keep my king around here. So I'll make a move. Although I'm surprised they haven't come round the back to get this pawn. But I suppose this pawn's going to push, isn't it? Could be a draw. We're actually plus one. But it might be one of those where it's we don't move. <laughs> I'm just trying to see if there is anything. I don't think there is. Or do I lose out? Am I getting zugzwanged? If I come across, then I'm protecting the pawn. Then he pushes down. Oh, I can take the pawn if he take if he goes there because the rook's supportive. So he may just go up and down and I might just go side to side. So it looks like it's going to end up being a draw. Unless I'm missing something. Is he coming round the side like we said to come round the back? Because even if you've got... Yeah, so it's just going to go up and down. I don't really have anything. I, I can't see. There's nothing clear. I could move the rook backwards and forwards but then that would be quite dangerous wouldn't it because this pawn would drop with a check on the king we would take and then they'd win our rook so that's not the case so uh, there is nothing else we're not pushing here because that will come past so yeah looks like it's a half decent draw I was going to say yeah um, even in like the world champions or those high level games where there's one player that's got a plus pawn but it's just the position that you just can't get that plus pawn to <clears throat> do anything oh what oh no he's gone for something different he's not going for a draw damn it i've missed it Anta. so is he coming down the back he is coming around the back isn't he oh i thought he was going for a draw 
No, I have to think now. I was winding down. So if it comes down, we put. Oops, me, we push. <clears throat> Does he come across to get the king? We push. Well, obviously, we have to move the king first. I don't, that's a bit too risky, isn't it? Like my pawn's flying up. Looks like the temptation is definitely to come down the back. This is why they've not gone for a draw. Although in that position, if I'm like a, if I was white, I'd be taking the yeah, I'd, I'd be taking the draw. But um, what is he seeing that I haven't seen? Push. Puts a check on. King takes the king's going to be around the back here, so this pawn is going to be fast enough to get promoted. I'm just wondering if this is one of those games where they should have just gone for the draw. <clears throat> now he's going backwards. Do we go behind? Comes across, then we push even more. Has he got some weight with these pawns? I can take his pawn here. So we have a pawn advantage on that side. <clears throat> He's got a pawn majority on this side. Maybe that works for them. We'll take this pawn. It gives us time to come back again. And we've gone behind this pawn. I'm definitely hoping that uh, um, the drawn position that they had, I think they may have just um, released the power for us. These can't touch the king, but uh, let's go here, just blocking the king from coming here. This is some magic. Always in these kind of situations, just thinking, well, where's the magic? Is he still got the draw? Um, can my king move from this position now? Not really. It's still a draw, really. Unless, of course, I went the extreme and went here. He takes this pawn. I take his pawn. He takes our pawn. We come back up and put a check on his king. King goes to the back. This rook is here. We come and support this pawn. And then his rook comes and puts a check on us. We take this pawn. Do you know, it feels like it might work. It's just that he's going to have this pawn here, which really then is probably going to peel this pawn off. My pawns are right down farther back here. All right, let's do a count. One. Two. They can't take that for them. <clears throat> we go one. He takes. We take. He can't take this pawn because our rook is protecting. So he has to put a check on our king. That could cause us some problems though, couldn't it? Mind you, yeah, we can just drop back. Okay, I think that might work for us. I'm still of the mindset that 
the draw position that was originally there it's kind of disappeared fingers crossed so we're protecting the pawn here if he drops down we can come here so attacking the pawn so we can push it up elevate it we were concerned this was going to be behind so let's push this up check on the king <clears throat> like we said we couldn't come down with the king nine minutes that's plenty of time so it's an interesting situation i was ready i was ready to wind down wasn't that in the earlier part but i think the opponent wanted to prove something let's attack the rook King's going to come down for this pawn, isn't it? If we push here, it's going to come out of the way of the firing line for our rook, putting a check on his queen, his um, rook. Could move our king across. Do we lose tempo? going to drop this pawn into it pawn takes and it's flying down with his pawn here so i think we have to be a bit steady rook could come across here to attack this pawn he obviously come and attack this pawn we take he takes we push because the pawn can't take because the x-ray through to the king around no maybe hmm that does look like a nice situation pushing here I don't think I like that because his king's just gonna come here and then even if we did go like that then we'd have to bring this pawn up to support this pawn before we could even think about putting the rook here that gives his king time to we've pushed up one King comes down, pushed up again. He doesn't even actually have to take the pawn. Well, the king can't get anywhere else, so if they take, then we push onto the rook. Rook just keeps going back. Does that one look healthy? It does look healthier than this one, doesn't it? So we attack this. Then their rook goes to attack that. We take this. They take that. We push this. King should be panicked about the pawn, so I would think it would go here. I don't think that's good though is it so if it goes there then the pawn can push onto it but the king can come here and attack the rook oh, I wish that one worked but it doesn't quite sit well with me comes round for this pawn well maybe stays on this file to come for this pawn and this pawn check that's all a bit messy isn't it it's all a bit messy could push the pawn here then he just comes across the top and my rook's got too much work King could come up, attack a pawn. I'm going to push this pawn onto the king. It's 
slides across will come up. It's a big thought process going here. This is not straightforward at all. It's worse when you're the one with more, more material. So if we push the king up, don't want to end up trapping it somehow. Let's get the king up, try and cut off the king's squares. Five minutes we're on. Oh, cracky, they're on 11 minutes. It is a 10 second increment. So we're trying to creep these pawns up a little bit at a time. So I think it looks like they're trying to save the pawn, aren't they? So the king's going to come across. So that gives us time to push this pawn up and inch these pawns up. Yeah, so he's um, doing that. So I think we could inch. Oh, but inching, then he comes across here. I really didn't want my king to have to come back down to protect the pawn. I might be falling into a, some sort of mad plan here. So we go up, then he comes and attacks the pawn. Damn it. So if we go like that, then he just takes the pawn with a check on my king as well. Oh, I didn't want to have to go back. Up comes across. Let's have a look at the backward motion. Coming back. He does have two pawns, you see, against one pawn of mine. So we'll come back, we're defending the pawn. It's at this stage again, this is what I don't want. He pushes down. But if he pushes down, the king can take in that situation. So I'm going to push the pawn. <clears throat> Thirty minutes left on the timer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so they're doing what we. It's just a, a blocker, you know. It's just a complete blocker. Um. So we've come down. The king can't come here. King could come here, looking to put pressure here. Oh, it has done. I'm going to attack the rook. We need to be a little bit urgent, I think, now. He's going to put a check on our king. He's trying to get this pawn flying down, and it looks like it's going to work for them. Because I have to respond to the check. Oh. His pawn can't push down now, because he's got, we've got an x-ray through. But if I do push past, then he will do that. So we could push this pawn up with the support of, but it's still going to. <sighs> so the rook's supporting this pawn. Or do we push? Is this one of those where if we just keep pushing, we eventually win out because they're going to take ages with their pawns to get down? Or is he going to sacrifice and then win the day? With these pawns if we pushed I, I think this is coming and then if we took oh if that comes though the pawn takes he's got a check on his king so it's a momentary kind of we'll have another pass pawn His king's going to drop here. So then we can start pushing that pawn. Okay, let's push the pawn. I've got to remember the move order of things. I just did that quickly then. and <clears throat> Got to make sure that that was the move I was thinking of.
trying to just inch these up a bit at a time. But nothing worse than having. Oh dear. So we could push this. Then it does the same thing again. And we can't push there. Right, so if I push this to support this and this. Okay, I'm going to push this. Three minutes I'm on now. I'm going to have to speed up, but after doing all this work, I don't want to make it a mistake. We found out if he does. I think maybe he's going to push on to here this way. Oh, he's actually coming down for the damn pawn. Oh, I'm going backwards again with my king. This is terrible. If I go here, the king takes. We attack the rook again. His pawn hits our king. Ooh, don't like them apples. Let's just bring the king back for a minute. So if one of them comes down, we take it off the board and it's looking to corral. Let's go here. Let's just go here. All right, so. Now we can bring this pawn up. Ooh, oh, let's attack the rook like we said. So it drops back. And get the rook out of here. Oh no, maybe not because he's going to attack the pawn. Although, if he does do that. Let's bring the rook here. If he goes here to attack the pawn, we push the pawn up. Then he comes back again because he doesn't want it to get uh, burnt. So then we push this pawn up. Right, just let's make some space. We might just leave it there even. Start getting the king across. He's probably wanting to take this. So it's almost a zigzag type thing because whatever move he's making, fingers crossed, it hopefully benefits us. So he could do a small move with his king, and we push. So he definitely can't come across here now, so his king can't come there, it can't go here because the pawn's blocking it. So we're just going to go for the rook now. Oh, wow, that was very interesting indeed. 